Hello, it's time for another Top 3 Tuesday, and this week I'm doing my three, top three, favorite video game accessories. And number one is the Competition Bro Pro joystick that I have here, and it may look to you like a pretty standard early 80s uh, console slash computer joystick, but it's not. What makes it special is that it connects to this here which is the Atari 5200 controller. Now I'm sure a lot of you guys know of this controller by reputation alone. And you've heard that the Atari 5200 is a terrible system and this is a terrible controller. And it's partly true. Uh, there are some downsides to this thing, but once you recondition them, granted the fact that you have to recondition them tells you that they're not great, but once you recondition them, they're not as bad as you think. They're really the only downsides are the the shape of it. I don't like having to hold the trigger buttons, uh, hold it and then use the trigger buttons on the side. And I don't like the fact that the joystick doesn't self-center. For most games, that's not that bad. Uh, for arcade style games, which the Atari 5200 does very well, this controller is not great, particularly for games like Pac-Man. This can be just infuriating because it is a long throw analog style joystick. So if you need to quickly go left or quickly go right or change direction and go up, you really have to go a long way with this thing. And if you don't get it back to center and you're pushing left, it may go left when you don't want it to. So it is bad. This thing takes over the directional and fire buttons. You still have to use the keypad on here for certain games, but this takes and makes it a much better arcade emulating machine, the 5200. Now, what I especially like about this is this. It is a micro switch joystick, and it makes it fantastic for playing arcade style games, and it really turns the Atari 5200 into a good arcade style home console for the early 80s. And I'm very fond of the games that I have for it. So there you go. This, number three. Number two is something else a lot of you will have seen me talk about before. And I mean, you keep seeing these things over and over again because they are my favorite accessories. It is the 3D glasses for the Sega Master System. I don't really care for 3D. I don't care for 3D in movies. I don't care for, you know, the home 3D with the little red and blue. I don't care for my friend's new 3D television. None of it really wows me, and all it really does is distract, but these were fantastic. I had these when I was a kid. My older brother Joe bought them for me, along with Missile Defense 3D and Space Harrier 3D, and they absolutely blew me away with the 3D effects. Now, to give you an idea of how good the 3D effects were on these things, we forced my mother to play on my television. I had like a little 19-inch color television that was a hand-me-down from like three other people, and she put them on, we put Missile Defense 3D in, and she just completely freaked out. She was like dodging and weaving and trying to get away, and she was shooting up in the air, which she didn't understand that you have to shoot at the screen to hit anything. And eventually she ended up falling out of the chair. It scared her so bad. Refused to get back up and play again. So that'll give you an idea of how good the 3D is on this. That, you know, the missiles flying at her face scared her out of a chair. These, sadly, do not work that well, and I've had two pair before this that work to varying degrees. This is the best pair I've had so far, and I would say they're at about 75%. Now, my suspicion is that this right LCD shutter here is bad, and it is darker than the other one, and there's visible flickering in this one. So, you can get pretty good depth when you play the games. Like, when you play Maze Hunter 3D, you feel like you're looking down into the maze, but you don't get the eye-popping, you know, visuals of things flying at you like you should. One day I would like to get a brand new in-the-box pair just to see if my memory about that is correct. I'm pretty sure it is. I don't think my mom jumped out of the seat just because she could see some depth. So, number two. Number one is oh, something you need a crane to lift. The X-Arcade Tank Stick. And... Yes, this is ridiculously expensive, but I got this one for free. Uh, I entered a drawing back when it was new, I don't know, two and a half, three years ago. Whenever this was new, that's when I entered the drawing. And I actually forgot about it because like, I don't even know, three months later, this thing shows up delivered at my door. My wife says, what the heck is in the box? And I didn't know what it was. I had totally forgotten. I mean, I saw X Arcade. I'm thinking, wow, I wonder what that is. Open it up. 
I didn't even think this was the same thing because it's so damn big. I didn't expect it to be that big based on the picture. I guess it makes sense though when you think about the controls. Anyway, this thing is as close as you will be able to get to the experience of having an arcade cabinet in your house without actually having one. And though it is expensive, uh, last I looked it was like 200 bucks. I would say it's probably worth it. If you can't afford the expense of an actual arcade machine, this thing is worth the $200. Uh, most people wouldn't be able to fit an arcade machine. Many people wouldn't be able to afford the five or $600 for a good working one. This is great. The other really cool thing about this is they have adapters so that you can hook this into not just your PC, but you can hook this up to an Xbox, GameCube, Xbox 360, because it's, if it's Xbox compatible, the PS2, uh, I don't know, I lost track, but basically the Dreamcast, Xbox, PS2, and GameCube. You can hook this up to any of them. So then you can take and play your favorite games with arcade-style controls. The buttons are micro-switch buttons, micro-switch joysticks. This trackball is great. It's not perfect for Tempest, but it is very good, and I love Tempest. So this thing, if you can afford it, or I shouldn't even say if you can afford it. If you're considering buying an arcade cabinet but can't afford that, you might want to look into this thing because it is extremely flexible as far as what you can use it on. It is a fantastic controller for arcade games, uh, emulation and MAME. As a matter of fact, I've taken this to several family functions along with my laptop and MAME, and people go crazy for it. So this is number one, the X-Arcade Tank Stick. They do have a cheaper version that doesn't have the trackball. It just has the two joysticks. I think it runs for $100. I think I've seen it before for $79. Uh, X-Arcade Tank Stick, great product. Check it out. I sounds like I'm shilling for X-Arcade. I'm not. I have no stock in the pro or in the company. There you go. That is my top three favorite video game accessories. I almost lost track of what I was talking about because I just did another top three Tuesday. I recorded another video a few minutes ago. Uh, if you guys have some accessories you'd like to share, please let me know. Uh, you can leave comments below. You can do video response. Whatever you're comfortable doing doesn't matter to me. I'm just curious what you have that I might be interested in getting. Thank you very much for watching.